whole language learning. <laughs> uh, whole language learning uh, discredited educational method gained popularity in the 1980 and 1990 decades, becoming a dominant model for teaching literacy in English to young children in countries like the United States, Canada, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. And this approach rooted in the belief that learning to read comes naturally. Like learning to speak emphasizes meaning making and reading fluency over explicit phonic instruction. So this is whole language. And this is the natural process of learning. In the first video clip we have was that in case of teaching language learning and teaching, we follow two kinds of materials. Adapted materials, that is the syllabus, design, objectives prepared for teaching language. And also the authentic materials, that is the materials that is uh, derived from the past language. But here in the whole language, this approach believes that the reading and writing and speaking will develop naturally. And in this regard, in this approach, the whole language learning, the student will be encouraged to read and learn to meaning make and to explicit phonics in instruction. What it is, whole language proponents believe that children learn best by being immersed in a rich language environment. Language environment, it is as you, that is, uh, uh, if any learner wants to learn French language or English language, if he or she passes more time with that language environment, how that can be created? If that is student read more, read more books, or newspaper or things written in target language, or if the learner listens more to the target language materials, it means that the learner passes much time in target language learning environment. In this way, the student will be through the reading, the student will gain capability of writing and through the listening perspectives or listening environment, the student will gain speaking capability and that will done naturally. Exploring books independently, what the student will read that would be chosen by the students on site. Engaging with literature. Literature means literature that is fiction, poetry, or like that. But here, literature will be meaning that is anything written in the target language. Anything, any book, any uh, newspaper, written in the target language. That means engaging with literature. So a student will explore the books. A student will engage themselves to read that books in the target language. And through this target language, they will create the environment, language, rich language environment, and they will learn language naturally. They argue, that means the whole language proponents argue that students will naturally develop reading skills through repeated exposure to words context clues and rather than to a systematic phonic 
instruction, systematic rather than a systematic phonic instruction. So exposure to words. So naturally, uh, if we give the students or the learner the books written on the target language, they will try to um, uh, read and next time try to speak in that way. However, scientific research has debunked the effectiveness of whole language method. Studies have shown that the skilled readers rely heavily on knowledge of letter sound correspondence. The letter sound correspondence, not just context clues. When decoding new words, uh, this means that explicit phonics in instruction is crucial for many students to develop a strong reading skill. What is explicit phonic instruction? Is ex explicit phonics in instruction involves teaching students the relationship between graphemes. What is the definition of graphemes? That is like the smallest meaningful contrastive unit in a writing system. That is the graphemes and morphemes, a meaningful morphological unit of a language that cannot be further divided. That is in coming and ing. Combining these three words that form in coming, that means in come in. So we can divide ing in another parts. We can divide C O M E, but if we can divide this, I'm ready to give a the body C O M E. Can do it at no sense. I have the camera team hug it. It's in in calm among ING. It's in the on show me it with you. These are the morphemes. So that is the relationship between graphemes and morphemes. And explicit phonic instruction involves the relationship between graphemes and phonics. Uh, here is an example. A teacher displays the whole uh, vowel theme, that is O and A, and explains that the two vowels are working together to represent one long sound, that is long U, long U, that means the two sounds combined together. So with this instruction, uh, we can learn language. That's what explicit phonics means that we start with simple sound in a word and then build out from them, from the patterns to syllables and the whole word. Okay. Suppose if I say that is if I say that is in in as a word, with that in we can we can a student will try to make other words using this two, this syllable in. So, so in, in come, in coming, uh, in touch, okay, then inclusive. Okay, so these are the words. After getting this label, a syllable, the in syllable, the a student that try could be, he could be on a not a not a word to it. In a shadow, the ER dipped over a hoi. Tell in touch at a noton word, they get up. About to the Shadi in closer to the Korahoi. About to the inclusive dipped over a hoi. So, in such a way, they will be, uh, they will uh, make new word, and next time they will make new sentence. So that they will start with the simple, simplest sound in a word and then build out from there. From that sound, we can the learner will be building the different from patterns to syllables and then to whole word. So pattern to syllable and then the whole word. Explicit phonics is a key component in the broader structure literacy approach. So the whole language approach with its emphasis on meaning making and immersion in literature often neglects the fundamental skill, fundament, foundational, foundational skills necessary for decoding words. So they will try to uh, meaning making. The student will try to make new words and not only the make new words, they will try to make uh, 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 new sentence.
and this can lead to the difficulties for the students who struggle with phonics, leaving them unable to access the full potential of reading. The debate between whole language and phonic based approaches to reading instruction is a long standing one, with proponents of each method arguing for their effectiveness. Whole, while whole language advocates emphasize on importance of creating a rich language environment and fostering a love of reading, scientific evidence overwhelming supports the effectiveness of phonics based instruction. Okay, so we have two approaches over here in case of discussing the whole language approach. Whole language approach advocates to create a rich environment. Ammonite environment to record the movie, she the reading for the body, abong is speaking for the body, or for the listening environment with the body. Abong a whole language and month for me, language a chip or take a skill, speaking, reading, writing, and listening, shop guru develop for it. That is the concern of whole language approach. And whole language approach, it advocates that the learner will learn language, all skills naturally. What is the condition? The condition you have to create the rich language environment. However, there is a debate that the scientific evidence overwhelming support of the effectiveness of the phonic based instruction. That means what I have said. That means in case of making phonic based instruction, that is, uh, uh, we we have to make uh, letters with with letters and syllable. We will make new words and sentences. That is the phonic uh, uh, phonics based instruction. But whole language is contradictory to phonic based instruction. Whole language advocates that the learner will be learning language skills, all four skills naturally. What is the condition? The condition is that we have to create the language environment, rich language environment with reading environment and listening environment in the target uh, of the target language. The science of reading has revealed that reading is not an innate ab ability, but a complex skill that requires the brain to rewire itself to connect sound and with letters. Okay. So reading is a, a, a complex a complex uh, criteria or, or when you can read. That means you have to understand the uh, you have to understand the letters. We have to understand the meaning of the word and then if you can understand the meaning of the later syllable, vowel, and also the later, you can understand. You can, you can, you, you can be able to read. So that is the complex phenomena. But whole language learning or whole language learning approach and book is that okay, reading will be done naturally if you create the each language uh, in heart. This process of decoding words is essential for developing fluency and comprehension. And it is a skill that cannot be explicitly taught through systematic phonic instruction. So the whole language learning have its merits in fostering a love of reading and promoting engagement with the literature. Okay, so uh, whole language learning advocates that sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes we say that is we have to memorize these things. We have to memorize these things and. Um, uh, uh, we have to uh, learn this structure, everything in case of learning second language learning. But in case of whole language approach, language learning approach, they are focused that no, there is no pressure for uh, memorizing or for learning words or vocabulary. Whole language learning encourages to enrich, to enhance the love of reading. So if we create the uh, if we, if we can enhance learners' love for reading, that will promote the uh, reader or the learner to read the literature of the certain text. Jodi amra learner the bolte porar kuthe ata bhalo basha tuiri korte pari. Ta hole learner ki korbe? Ta hole target language je literature gulo. Uni cooking pasundho korle. Cooking er upore je boi gulo. Uni uh, English language, uh, driving person, 
উনি বাইসাইকেল রাইডিং পছন্দ করেন যে জিনিসগুলোই পছন্দ করেন সেই পছন্দের জিনিসগুলোর বিষয়ে যে লেখাগুলো আছে যে নিয়মগুলো আছে সেই নিয়মগুলোকে বলা হচ্ছে যে লিটারেচার সেই লিটারেচার গুলো উনি পড়বেন টার্গেট ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজে শুধুমাত্র হোল ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অ্যাপ্রোচ সেটাকে অ্যাডভোকেট করছে যে তার মধ্যে স্টুডেন্টদের মধ্যে পড়ার যে আগ্রহটা ওটা তৈরি করে দিচ্ছে এবং ওই পড়ার যখন আগ্রহটা তৈরি করে দেওয়া হবে তখন উনি পড়বেন সাথে সাথে তার রিডিং রাইটিং ক্যাপাবিলিটি বৃদ্ধি পারবে এবং রিচ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এনভারনমেন্ট শুধুমাত্র রিডিং এনভারনমেন্ট না এটাকে বলা হচ্ছে অলসো লিসনিং এনভারনমেন্ট সো হোল ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অ্যাপ্রোচ উইল বি ক্রিয়েটিং আ রিচ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এনভারনমেন্ট ইনফরমেটিং দ্য রিডিং লিটারেচার অ্যান্ড দ্য লিসনিং লিটারেচার লিসনিং লিটারেচার দ্য মিনস TV, newspaper, uh, other things, okay, everything will be here and they will create love for reading and for this reason they will develop the all four skills that is reading, writing, listening and speaking and for this reason it is called whole language approach. That means all skills which we develop through applying this approach that is the whole language learning approach. So it is crucial to acknowledge that the limitation of this approach and to prioritize the scientific evidence that supports phonic based instruction as the foundation of the successful literacy developments. Okay, so we can say that whole language learning are discredited methods or approach that emphasizes meaning making and reading fluency. Meaning making and reading fluency over explicit phonic instruction gained popularity in 1980 and 1990 decades. Okay, so uh, that is uh, there is a debate between what is effective, that is whole language learning or a phonic based instruction. And uh, the science of reading emphasizes the importance of phonics based instruction uh, for the as the foundation of the successful literacy development. And it as it teaches the essential skill of decoding words, which is crucial for developing fluency and uh, comprehension. So when when the student or the learner will gain the love of reading, they will try to decode the meaning of the word. Okay. And for this reason, whole language learning will try to enhance meaning making capability of the learner. So learner will try to understand the meaning of a literature, of a text written in the target language. So by creating a rich language environment, or rather reading environment, uh, of course, including reading environment and the listening environment, learner will gain the love of reading. And through the love of reading, the learner will try to decode the words and sentence, meaning decode, will try to decode the meaning of words and sentence written in the target language and naturally they will develop their reading skill, they will develop their cognition and understanding, and they will develop their writing skill and simultaneously speaking skill. And for this reason, this is called a whole language learning approach. So this theory is based on Mary um, Clay's approach to reading, in which students learn to read by simply guessing words they do not know. They do not know. Okay, they will try to make meaning from the words, and it also relies on the queuing system approach, in which students must use written clues to read unknown words. Okay, written clues unknown words. Queuing uh, system in reading are the practices that aid in determining the meaning of unknown words. Queuing involves using pieces of information like the sound and the uses of a word to decide on its correct purpose within a sentence. Okay, suppose if a sentence comes before a learner, the learner may not know the meaning of two or three words of this sentence. The learner will try to discover the meaning of the unknown words with a queuing system, with a queuing system. In such a way, the learner will learn new words and sentences in the target language. 
in addition to reading a variety of materials that is called the literature in case of whole language subjects. So in addition to reading a variety of materials, students in a whole language classroom write, listen to, and perform language in a multitude of ways. That is poetry, riddle, riddles, prose, games, idioms, quotation, proverbs, readers' theaters, drama, world histories are examples of this diversity. So there is a question, there is a criticism. That means what is the authentic and rich language environment? Uh, condition principle to follow whole language approach it. The America rich language environment to it. Anybody might ask the, what might be called the rich language environment. A rich language environment will be full with so many ways of things or reading in case of target language. That may be poetry, kovita, whatever, prose, riddles, word games, idioms, quotation, props, uh, proverbs, readers, theater, drama, everything will be there. And also the word histories. Okay? So everything will be with, with all this multitude genre, with all this multitude text, with all this multitude literature, that will create the rich language environment. And creating this link, this language environment will create love for reading towards the learners, and the learners will learn language naturally. So the whole language approach to reading is a philosophy that is stresses the importance of children thinking about their thinking or being metacognitive. Metacognitive, metacognitive, metacognitiveness. And that means cognitive and uh, naturally they will learn less thing they know less thing tara kom jane ebong ei kom jana clue theke jokhon tara chesta korbe puro sentence er ortho jana puro comprehension er ortho jana okay puro passage er ortho jana puro sentence er ortho jana he ei je choto tader uh, knowledge holo kom a eh, knowledge kom knowledge diye tokhon tara boro kono jinisher ortho bujhte chesta korbe seta ki bola hocche je meta cognitive so whole language learning encourages students meta cognitive development and important the stress of this uh, this meta cognitive development of the learner the whole language approach focuses on children meaning making sense of skill used in reading and writing as opposed to just memorizing letters letter sound and symbol okay they will not only be memorizing the letter sound the whole language learning is the approach to learning that this language as a whole entity okay so the definition itself suggests that language as a whole entity you will be you can write you are able to speak good english that cannot be the language learning. Whole language learning uh, wants to uh, see language as a whole entity. That means language with it with its all four skills. That is writing, speaking, reading, and listening. And all these four skills should be integrated when learned. Okay. So, uno actual learner should matro halo English bolte palo. Shita whole language learning shashwara. So. Whole language approach believes that the students will integrate and learn all four skills of uh, language that is writing, speaking, reading, and listening. So, in whole language, learning is built upon the real experience and background knowledge of the learners. Okay, background starts up. Whole language helps children. Fall in love with books. Okay, another good criteria and they have good words by exposing them to many different kinds of literature so they want to read. Also, see themselves as a reader so they read and learn to read by doing. Okay, so the love with books. Okay, in such a time, actually, uh, learners will not have that kind of passion for reading okay so whole language learning helps actually what we did in case of uh, a curriculum 
there will have some fixed text. A student will be reading this text. They will be learning this text. So there is no way of getting out of the curriculum. That is the traditional way of reading, isn't it? Whole language learning not, not like that. Whole language learning will uh, will 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 incorporate will be incorporated with several things written in the target language. And for this reason, the children will fall in love with books and they will try to read and they will try to understand the text written in the target language and they will uh, learn the language. Okay, And so the principles, the whole language approach is a teaching methodology and that emphasizes the importance of a language as a whole entity focusing on meaning making, communication and social social interaction. So meaning making, communication and social interaction. This approach promotes authentic language experience, integrated skill developments and critical thinking skills in high students. So that is babies learn to speak and listen through a natural process of imitation and maturation. Whole language school was made by Lev Vygotsky. The Russian psychologist and educator who most adamantly advocated a language approach which celebrated in the inherent knowledge of the learner. Okay, so the prominent component uh, proponents of the whole of whole language includes Ken Goodman, Frank Smith, Caroline Barth, Jeremy Hartson, Yata Goodman, Dorothy Watson, and Stephen McPherson. So these are the person who promoted this whole language learning. The whole language method fails because it gives children no basis of making generalization. Children are not taught that words have reusable components. So they cannot sound out new words based on the letter combination they have seen before. This new words is a mystery requiring educator into guidance. So I love this method very much in such a way that is whole language learning believes in communication and meaning making and how this meaning making can be done. That is in case of traditional traditional method or approach in uh, of learning or teaching second language, naturally they uh, follow the uh, adapted materials. But in case of whole language learning, they believe the proponents of whole language, they believe that we have to create the love for reading towards the learner. If we uh, can create love for reading towards the learner, they will gain the capability of meaning making. And so they will understand the uh, all four skills of the language that is reading, writing, and listening, and speaking. And all this and the love for reading can be created or the love for books can be created by creating uh, uh, by creating a rich language environment, rich language environment, not only including with books, there will be several games, proverbs and dramas, poetry, fictions, anything, everything written in the target language will create a rich language environment. And after creating a rich language environment, learner will fall in love for reading and they will engage, they will learn the all four skills of the target language. Okay, so that is about whole language, uh, whole language approach in uh, 